everyone, welcome back to Weekly Incheon. These are our main headlines for the week. The Incheon Medical Center is operating a ward with no guardian. The elder Kyo chang Royal Protocols is returning to his homeland. Humanitarian Aid Project for North Korea. An exhibition of the goods of Kaesong Industrial Complex was held. This is the first piece of news. If unfortunately hospitalized, nursing care can be a burden just as hospital charges, especially for those who are disadvantaged or in the neglected class. Incheon Medical Center provided the solution to this problem. The Incheon Medical Center is operating a ward with no guardian. Free care service is provided to disadvantaged people, such as beneficiaries of the basic living guarantee and the severely disabled who have no families to provide nursing care. This helped to reduce the burden of nursing as well as created social work opportunities. Therefore, it is receiving positive responses from both patients and caregivers. Through opening 24 hours, the unaccompanied world minimizes the inconvenience of both patients and guardians. Although there are only four hospital rooms at the moment, the ward will be expanded later on with the support of the city. 환자분들이 수술을 받거나 병이 있어 입원했을 때그 진료비 자체도 물론 문제가 되지만 많은 분들이 간병하는 데 있어서 어려움을 겪는 분들이 많습니다. 특히 경제적으로 어려운 분들은 그 간병비에 대한 부담이 상당히 크기 때문에 Meanwhile, Incheon Medical Center has been trying to get rid of the unfriendly and outdated image of municipal hospitals. A completion ceremony for the modernization of the center was held on the 26th of May. The Alta Kyo Chang Royal Protocols is being returned after France plundered it 145 years ago. An official event was held on the 11th of June at Kanghuado to celebrate. Let us now get inside the history to take a closer look. The Alta Kyo Chang Royal Protocols is being returned to its original location, the Kanghua Koryo Palace. Ancestral rites that praise for the return of the gods began with the playing of Sodom music. The collection of royal protocols is returning after being plundered by France 145 years ago. The Alta Kyo Changak is the place where the royal protocols of major ceremonies was being kept when the Kanghua Royal Library was built for the safekeeping of royal books. The royal protocols is expected by professionals to have a great effect on restoring the history of our country, for it shows the history of royal lives and businesses in a glance. 75 volumes are returned now and the remaining 221 volumes will be returned before the 27th of July. By then, all 297 volumes taken during Pyongin Yangyo will be restored to Korea. The Royal Protocols is expected to be revealed to the public in July at the National Museum of Korea. Incheon City have been unfolding projects for peace between North and South Korea as well as for development of the district. This time, to improve citizens' understanding and form social bonds regarding projects for North Korea, an exhibition was held. Humanitarian Aid Project for North Korea, exhibition of the goods of Kaesong Industrial Complex was held. It was held so the citizens can form bonds of sympathy regarding aid projects for North Korea that have been carried out by Incheon City as well as Kaesong Industrial Complex, which is a successful model of economic cooperation between North and South Korea. The event was participated by a total of 16 companies, including the Kaesong Industrial Complex, which works closely with Incheon City and other volunteer supporting companies. 예, 저희 한국 JTS는 북한에서 그 열악한 식량난이 알려진 97년 이후로부터 현재 북한 전역의 53개 고아원 12,000명 어린이들에게 어, 의류와 뭐 식량을 비롯한 모든 생필품을 지원하고 있고요. In the opening ceremony, which started at 10 a.m., a hundred bicycles donated by citizens, which were being transformed into usable bicycles for business, were being given to Kaesong Industrial Complex for its moving-in conference.
Meanwhile, after action being taken on the 24th of May, Incheon City has been actively carrying out aid projects for North Korea. It is hoped that this kind of projects for peace can be carried out continuously with citizens' participation. This is the end of this week's broadcast. Thank you for staying with us. Have a nice day.